Sergita! Vina, <laughs> That's that Sinjin, Sinjin and, and Vanessa. Vanessa. <laughs> uh, Dennis, you old bogey collector. You ready for a quick round on the old links? Any time, but let's get the golf out of the way first. <laughs> the links is the golf course, Dennis. I knew that. <laughs> Shall we tee off? A ting, ting. <laughs> <laughs> Can't hit the bloody thing. <laughs> um, I say, darling, I've got an idea. Why don't we turn the stick around? <laughs> Actually, they're called clubs, not sticks. Yes. Are you too sure you've played golf before? Uh -huh, uh -huh, of course, of course. Uh, we are both members of the Royal and Ancient Chingford Golf Stick Club. <laughs> sure? Yes. I knew that. <laughs> Let's try this end. <laughs> I've hit that thing a mile. <laughs> that thing is called a divot, and it's supposed to stay on the ground, like your ball has. <laughs> I say I'm absolutely parched. Care for a spot of whiskey, Charlotte? No, thanks. Not while I'm driving. <laughs> <laughs> I say, where's Dennis got to? Oh, here he comes. So, sorry, chaps. Just being for a tinkle. What? You went all the way back to the clubhouse? No, I went to that latrine. <laughs> That's a bunker. Sure. Yes. I didn't know that. I hear. Who's this chap? What the hell are you people doing on this course? Dig off! What are you up to? Look, you can't play here. It's just not on. Why not? Because this club is restricted. I'm not sure I'm with you all, Fruity. <laughs> well, let me put it this way. How many Asian people have you seen playing on this course? I haven't seen any. That's right. And they usually get everywhere, don't they? <laughs> and another thing. Are any of you lot called Dennis Cooper? Yes, uh, how do you know? Because you've written your name in the sand. <laughs> uh, Dennis, shall we move on to the 19th hole? Oh, well, I've had enough of golf. Let's just go straight to the bar. <laughs> Thank God you brought the golf cart. Uh, absolutely. <laughs> Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for attending the launch of my new spiritual guidebook, The Maharishi Yogi's True Path to Enlightenment. <laughs> now, as we are all aware, the market for spiritual guidebooks is currently saturated by many charlatans. People like Deepak Chopra, <laughs> Dalai Lama, <laughs> Delia Smith. <laughs> These people miss the very essence of Vedic teaching as summarized by the ancient Sanskrit dictum. Blighton na grisham na rushdi. Yogi ya scooby ya matli. This is meaning the best things in life are free. <laughs> but you can keep them for the birds and bees. I want money. <laughs> But my book is the only one that remains both faithful to the principles of Vedic teaching and also available in pop-up form. <laughs> I was first inspired to write this book after the astounding success of my first work, The Maharishi's Genealogy of Contemporary Moral Eastern Philosophy, later turned into the Hollywood blockbuster, Basic Instinct. <laughs> in my new book, I try to solve the problems of life in a stress-filled modern world. Now, there are two paths 
to spiritual fulfillment. I would recommend the hardback path priced $18.99. <laughs> now, as you all know, my book is the center of some controversy. There are those that disagree with my teachings, those that are critical of my work, especially chapter 29, where the guru meets the two Californian blondes in the jacuzzi. <laughs> to these skeptics, I would like to quote an ancient Sanskrit proverb. Mel B ya Mel C ya ya Va va ye kya ye ass wash This is meaning Come on I'm trying to sell some books here Very much in Very much in Hi baba I can't believe my darling baby little girl is getting married tomorrow <laughs> Seems like only yesterday I was wiping up after you. Mum, it was only yesterday. I mean, after being force-fed 17 laddus, you'd vomit too. <laughs> and tomorrow you will be stolen away from me, dragged off by baying menfolk to another family far, far away. In Ilford. It takes 20 minutes on the North Circular. <laughs> Please stop worrying, it'll be fine. Oh, Betty, it's, it's not the wedding I'm worried about. It's a... Uh, Afterwards, <laughs> you know, when you both go home together and you have to perform your wifely duties. <laughs> oh, my God, you poor innocent child. How are you going to cope? Mum, Dinesh and I have been going out for eight years, right? Eight years? You kept him waiting all that time? <laughs> my God, he'd be like a wild animal. No, Mum, the thing is... No, no. You know, if they go without it for just one day, terrible things start to happen. They drive too fast everywhere, they start fights. Mum, where do you get these ideas from? Oh, and if your father doesn't get any action for a week, he's jumping me in hallways and begging for <laughs> <laughs> save <a> masochistic domination. <laughs> Look, Mum, Dinesh and... A bit of what? <laughs> Masochistic domination. <laughs> you know, for the first few years, you can cope with it. You know, four times a night, the lunchtime knee tremblers, etc., etc. <laughs> and of course, you get a bit of a rest when the babies come along. Uh, sorry, did you say four times a night? <laughs> no, no, no. Now it's down to two or three. But uh, <laughs> after 40 years, you want to say, stop. Enough with the Ann Summers cat suits and the vibrating eggs. <laughs> Woman a break. Vibrating eggs. Oh, listen to me. I know I don't need to tell you modern girls how to prolong a man's pleasure by biting down on the sensitive oh, no, part. No, 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 please, please. <laughs> no. Sorry, darling. I just don't want you to go through what I do. <laughs> Very little chance of that, Mum. Hello, Betty. <laughs> Goodbye, Betty. Hiya, Bobby. Oh, hiya, Simmy. Bit of a drag these family do, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. Keeps the parents happy, though. <laughs> God! What? She's here! Oh. Uh, don't look at her. She's, she's come over. She's coming over. Oh, my God! Bobby, sweetie. <laughs> Give your auntie a big fat kissy. <laughs> Put me down, you monkey. <laughs> you know, I used to change his nappy when he was a chota baby. And let me tell you, his girlfriend's gonna be a very lucky woman. <laughs> uh, are you his girlfriend? No. <laughs> Come on, sweetie, don't be shy. You can tell me I'm very modern about these things. <laughs> no, 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 auntie, that's Simi. Yeah, uh, namaste, auntie. Slip me some skin, sister. <laughs> I know that's how all you youngsters talk because I'm very young and modern myself. <laughs> you need to need wicked, wicked. <laughs> so, are you two getting it on together yet? Or still at the only upstairs touching on a first date, huh? You can tell me I'm very modern about these things. <laughs> no, no, me and Simi aren't going out together. No, we're just in the same study group at college. Oh, I get it. Say no more. We youngsters have to stick together, don't we? <laughs> you know, I'm a bit of a rebel myself. I am. I was the first lady in my aerobics for India class to wear a thong. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't care, because I'm completely mad! In a 
very modern sort of way. <laughs> so, how are your children, Auntie? Pardon? Oh, you have kids. Where are they? I don't know. Um, didn't they run away when they were 12? Oh, you! Come on, let's put some Leo Sayer on and get this party swinging! <laughs> Woo! Come on, puppy! Well, I can't quite believe it. My son's going to college, leaving home and becoming a man. Thanks, Dad. I'll try to make you proud of me. Oh, your mother and I are proud of you, aren't we? Mum? Beta, why you want to go to college, eh? when I can make it at home for nothing? <laughs> look, 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 this is college. Oh, I'm so drunk. I've just got 12 pints of lager. Mm. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh. Mom, what are you doing? You want some ganja? <laughs> Ever again, hmm? I'll leave tins of beans out to let hair grow on them. Hmm? Dirt and filth is all here. Dad. Oh, leave me out of this. Look, I'm a student. I'm balancing a traffic cone on my head. It's not a traffic cone, it's a small aubergine. Aubergine, traffic cone, I'm too drunk to tell the difference. Come on, join in. Good afternoon. Are you expected? Yes. And whom shall I say is calling? You shall say Mr. and Mrs. Dennis Cooper. Very well. Step this way. A stepping, stepping, stepping. Ah, oh, buddy, sorry, you cannot hear. May I take your hat, sir? No, no get your own. <laughs> so I'm going to hang it up for you, darling. <laughs> I knew that. <laughs> Dennis, Charlotte. Oh, oh, Sarjita! Sinjin, darling. Both wrong, actually. It's Lord Sinjin of Epping. <laughs> and Lady Vanessa of also Epping. How marvellous. <laughs> yes, the titles came free with the stately home. Let's give you the guided tour. <laughs> this is the entrance hall built by Henry the Tenth. Beautiful. A spiffing. Uh, notice the 16th century floorboards uh, laid down in 1348 by Edward XXII. Uh, yes, the plastic hallway matting complements them perfectly. <laughs> uh, what's this? Uh, this is the stained glass window. Uh, stained, huh? Have you tried rubbing it with vinegar? It's stained on purpose. He knew that. <laughs> uh, we've started work on the garden. We're having it all taken up and putting a 15-acre patio in its place. <laughs> oh, would anybody else like a drink? Another pims? Of course. Dennis? Oh, just a drink for me, please. I'll drink for Mellows. Tell me, Sinjan, what's that strange smell? Ah, the smell of the countryside, Dennis. Horses, don't you know? Huh, have you horses? Not bloody likely. I can't stand the buggers. <laughs> yes, that's why we buy a bag of manure every week and leave it in the corner over there. <laughs> Gives it that authentic country feel. You back, my lady. Uh, yes, Mellis, could you get our guests a drink? Certainly. Mr. Cooper? Hey, I'm not! Don't speak to the staff like that in the country, Dennis. <coughs> one jug of pims and one jug of whiskey, Mellors. And hurry it up, or I'll give you a damn good thrashing. And what's that? Ah, the family crest. Yes, it uh, shows a British bulldog rampant in a field of royal blue. And inscribed above. The family motto, Si non est albus, non nest bonum. What does that mean? If it ain't white, it ain't right. <laughs> <laughs> I say that 
fireplace must be lovely and warm in the winter. Yes, although we haven't actually managed to light it yet. <laughs> yes, but the neighbours have been very helpful. They bring round wood and fuel and matches and light it all for us. Then just pop it through the letterbox. <laughs> Charming. Yes, folk in the country are so much more friendly. Mm. They've even invited us shooting next week. And they've even offered us a 15-second head start. Charming, <laughs> this is total bestie, man. Only little kids do the nativity play, innit? Listen, man, the Hounslow Multicultural Interfaith Youth Community Centre nativity play is like a rasmalai turkey shoot of biblical proportions. That's because they look like turkeys, innit? Watch your mouth, man. You're talking about a girl I might be forced to marry one day, innit? But Giza, we, 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 we always play the free wise men, innit? So? I want to play something else, like, 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 like a shepherd or Jesus or something. The free wise men are boring, man. Oh, come on, die, man. You are missing the honour and proud heritage of a noble people, innit? Uh, what are you talking about, man? <laughs> the three wise men came from the East, right? Right. War turbans, right? Right. They was Punjabi. <laughs> They came from Jalandar, man. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. How do you figure that one out? <laughs> Check this, man. Uh. Three strange geezers turn up at a kiddies party with no invitation. <laughs> they bring along crappy presents like gold, frankincense and myrrh. What's a little baby gonna do with that? Just because they bought crappy presents don't mean nothing, man. All right. What presents you get last year? Uh, well, I, I, I got I got a three-piece suit made out of mirrors. <laughs> uh, I got a blessing from a holy man who looked like Don King. <laughs> and, uh, oh, and a tank top with leg holes. And who gave you them presents? My Uncle Preetham. And where's he from? Jalanda. Oh, my God! <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. So, so, so why is it cool to be a wise man then, man? <laughs> you bindle! If you look in the Bible, the gold, frankincense and myrrh are never mentioned again. That is because the three wise Punjabis took it back with them and opened up the world's first ever cash and carry. Wicked! Which is the first example of legendary Asian business acumen and international fraud, innit? Ah, oh, fierce, man! Fierce! Hey, I can't wait to wear the wise men. Ta, I ain't playing a wise man. Uh, what are you talking about, man? Bindia is playing Mary. So naturally, I'll be playing Joseph Nawami. <laughs> My chuddy man. <laughs> oh, I'm, 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 I, I don't want to be playing the three wise men all on my own. Okay, okay. Listen up, everyone. The casting for the play is as follows Bindia, you will play Mary. Cha sure, Bindia. <laughs> the part of Joseph will be played by Juggy. Juggy. <laughs> Juggy. <laughs> The three wise men will be played by Asif, Mwangi and Nitin. Hi! <laughs> oh, and you two... You can play the donkey. <laughs> oh, it's my furry chuddies, man! <laughs> this is like the cat top with leg holes all over again! <laughs> <laughs> Jackie smells delicious, Charlotte. Must be nearly ready, what? <laughs> A few more minutes, I think. <laughs> so, any Christmas drinks on offer? Oh, yes. Uh, Dennis has made some lovely eggnog. Oh, Haven't you, dear? Oh, Super. Wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't think you're supposed to boil the eggs, Dennis. I, I, I knew that. <laughs> How about some traditional English sherry? Oh. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, creamy bristles. Oh. Dennis, you are awful. <laughs> Do try a mince pie. Um, oh, um, oh I... no, 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 it's uh. all right. They're not made with minced beef this year. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, it's lamb. <laughs> Much more England, huh? <laughs> Darling, why don't we hand out the presents? Oh, oh yes. Oh, uh, you really shouldn't have bothered. Well, uh, it is an English tradition. Is it? Of course. Ta-da! 
Ta-da! <laughs> for Charlotte. Oh. <laughs> and? and for Dennis. Oh. <laughs> Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. <laughs> well, you see, we didn't know that you were going to give us. Ta-da! <laughs> and uh, this one is for Vanessa. Merry the Christmas. <laughs> And this one is for Sarji uh, Senjan. And the happy the birthday to you. <laughs> Many happy returns. <laughs> I, I say, Dennis, how about a little kiss under the mistletoe? <laughs> I, I don't think we have any, actually. Oh, that's okay. I brought my own. Oh, <laughs> day. <laughs> 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 I do love a traditional English Christmas, don't you? <laughs> well, you know, there's more to Christmas, Vanessa, than alcohol and sex. Is there? Oh, yes. It's a religious festival. Ah, like Diwali and, and, uh, and Eid. Hmm? You know, Christmas Eid. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, quite <laughs> yes, right. Yes. Of course, well, we're both Church of England. Mm. So are we. Huh? Uh, well, are you going to Midnight Mass, then? Yes, we've already been. Twice. <laughs> well, uh, the decorations look splendid, what? Oh, yes, well, there is nothing more English than Christmas decorations. In fact, Dennis has been up in the loft all last night, <laughs> getting the Christmas tree out of storage, checking the lights work. <laughs> well, of course, we have a real Christmas tree. Uh, so do we. <laughs> Real tinsel, not the plastic rubbish. In fact, St. John goes out and picks it fresh, don't you, sweetheart? <laughs> well, we love our traditional English Christmases. Yes, James Bond, the Queen's speech. Ah, the smell of nuts roasting on an open fire. Oh, so sorry. I must be standing too close to the oven. <laughs> 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 